Jenny was so happy about the house they found. For once in her life, it was the right side of the town. She packed all her things with such great ease, as she wanted her new curtains to blow in the breeze. On the first day of school, everything went great. She made new friends and even got a date. She thought, "I want to be popular, and I'm going to be, because I just got a date with the star of the team." To be known in school, you have to have the right clique, and dating this guy would surely help out. There was only one problem stopping her faith: her parents said she was too young to date. Well, I just won't tell them the entire truth. They won't know the difference. What's there to lose? Jenny asked her parents to stay with her friends for that night. Her parents frowned but said, "All right." Excited, she got ready for the big event. But as she rushed around like she had no sense, she began feeling guilty about the lie. But what's pizza, a party, and a moonlight ride? Well, pizza was good, and the party was great. But the moonlight ride will have to wait, for Jeff was drunk by the time. But he kissed her, and said he was fine. Then the room was filled with smoke, and Jeff took a puff. Jenny couldn't believe he was smoking and stuff. Now Jeff was ready to ride to the point, but only after he had another joint. They jump in the car for the moonlight ride. Not thinking of Jeff was too drunk to drive. They finally made it to the point at last, as Jeff started to make a pass. A pass is not what Jenny wanted at all. And by pass, I didn't mean playing football. Perhaps my parents were right. Maybe I'm too young. Boy, how could I ever, ever be so dumb? With all her might, she pushed him away. Please take me home. I don't want to stay. Jack cracked up the engine and floored the gas. In a matter of seconds, they were going too fast. As Jeff drove in a fit of wild rage, Jenny knew her life was in danger. She begged and pleaded for him to slow down, but he just speed up as they're nearly in town. Just let me get home. I'll confess that I lied. I just went out for a moonlight ride. Then all of a sudden, they saw a great flash. Oh God! Please help us. We're gonna crash. She doesn't remember the force of the impact. Just that everything all of a sudden went black. She felt someone remove her from the twisted rubble, and heard. Someone call an ambulance. These kids are in trouble. The voices she heard, a few words at best, but she knew there was two cars involved in the wreck. Then. If the other people in the car were alive, she hoped in her heart that the person would survive. She awoke in the hospital. His face is so sad. You've been in a wreck, and it looks pretty bad. These voices echoed inside her head as they gently told her that Jeff was dead. They said. Jenny, we've done all that we can for you, but it looks like as if we lose you too. But the people in the other car, Jenny cried. I am sorry, Jenny. They also died. Jenny prayed. God. Forgive me for what I've done. I only wanted to have one night of fun. Tell that person's family that I made their lives dim, and that I wish I could return their families to them. <laughs> Tell mom and dad 
I'm sorry I lied. And it's my fault that so many had died. Oh, nurse, won't you tell them that? The nurse just stood there. She never agreed. She took Jenny's hand with tears in her eyes, and a few moments later, Jenny died. A man asked the nurse, Why didn't you do your best to bid that girl her one last request? She looked at the man with eyes oh so sad. Because the other people in the car were her mom and dad. Only you can prevent wildfires.